Jazzy's. Okay, this is Jassy, and Jassy grows mushrooms. I do. <laughs> um, uh, I grow mushrooms with the Kai's Culture... Uh, Kai's Culture Mushrooms, yeah, that's, that's her group. Um, my mother started it, She's, she was into mushrooms. It was a hobby of hers, growing, and then she, she ended up losing her job because of... Uh, of like instability with with the uh, system with school system but she decided to not reapply and just to completely focus into the mushrooms and that's that's just what we do well like tell me what we have here um we have portabella and cremini baby bellas um these are usually grown from sterile manure or uh, dirt clean dirt and um, you need a lot of space to grow. These are the ones that grow in the dark or caves. So you see people like growing in like in caves. That's, these are usually the ones that are growing. Our at our farm we focus on mostly phototropic mushrooms like shiitake, oysters, uh, reishi, uh, garden giants, things of that nature. Uh, and what does that mean? Um, the kind that you focus on. The kind that we focus on are more are more uh, medicinal or gourmet, I should say. Okay. Or medicinal. Um, now, what about people that go out hunting them? Foraging? Foraging. Foraging, um, okay. Yeah, that's also a, a, a skill people have. Um, you can find some really good mushrooms, a lot of rare mushrooms like morels or uh, things like that. Um, you could also die. Depending on the mushrooms. Usually foragers, they know what they're doing because they have to know what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, but are there, like, do you maybe lead classes in foraging and take people out to do it or I've been on a few forays um, been to a few classes um, and we don't personally have them we, we usually we focus on growing our own and teaching other people how to grow okay. so that they can like self-sustain but but with the foraging is interesting because there's only there's there's a few mushrooms in Ohio that are, that are poisonous and um, you'll get ill. Um, but I don't think there's too many that as extreme as like the death caps. Um, but well, there's a name you don't want to hear. There's a name you don't want to hear. Don't want to taste. Don't want to be near it. Um, so when you're foring, you usually, you usually have to consume the mushroom in order to be sick or, or, um, or be un like unwell. Um, uh, so a lot of people do like don't mind picking up the poisonous ones just because of that reason. But I still don't recommend it. But, yeah. but I, I, if I'm going to eat, if I'm going to eat a mushroom, I'm going to eat what I know, and I encourage everyone else to do the same.